These tips will make you better at boxing beta in 24 hours. Welcome my guys to another video of Sugar Channel. Today I will be giving you guys tips to become better at boxing beta in 24 hours. I have compiled a bunch of tips from season two and I'm gonna be showing you guys today. These tips are very easy to learn and anyone can, can get into the habit. So let's get on with the first tip. Before anything starts guys, I wanna thank you guys for the support on this channel. Uh, I will be uh, doing a lot more videos every other day. So uh, yeah. Let's go on with the first tip. So first tip that I'll be giving you guys is try and get into the routine of playing boxing beta every day or every other day. I know this video says 24 hours, but this takes time. Playing boxing beta every day is probably the best tip that I can give to anyone to play. You just gotta fight, 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 get better, get experience, because tips, sure tips will get you somewhere, but if you don't play boxing beta, then you're never gonna be able to implement the tips, therefore you'll never actually get better. Like by example, me, I've been playing this game for over a year, so it really, really takes time before you actually get good at the game and actually, you know, learn how to get better. The second tip that I suggest for you to get better is always warm up before fighting in ranked games. So you can either go to your private server and set up a uh, punching bag like I did downstairs. Uh, you can either fight one of your friends or you can go into the basement of the regular gym and you just punch a punching bag warming up there. Just warming up your timing, always warm up get yourself good or you fight in casual matches to wait to warm up your uh, your punching you fight people that are higher rank etc that comes into my next tip guys fight people higher in, higher than your rank you'll get used to fighting people that are higher in your rank and you'll be able to actually play better so make sure that you actually you know warm up before your your rank matches if you're a rank guy if you're not a rank guy always warm up before your your fights or just fight for fun, it doesn't really matter, but that's the main thing. Now, let's get on with the actual technical tips. So I have three technical tips that I'll give you guys. One including power punch, one including block, and one including stamina. So you guys know about the new update for stamina, right? When you dodge, it takes a lot of stamina, and it takes a little bit before your stamina actually starts recharging again. So the tip that I'm gonna give you guys for the stamina is to really be patient before you start using your stamina. Let me explain what I mean. So what I want you guys to do is you fight your opponent like like normal. And then, I don't want you guys to do this. Look, 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 look at my character. I don't want you guys doing this. You guys you guys see what I did? You guys see me spamming my dodge? I went down. It, the, I didn't even take five, or ten, 5 to 10 seconds and my stamina was already down to 70. So I want you guys to dodge. Use your dodges at the right time. There's no set stone way to learn to read your opponent the best trick i can give is to dodge whenever you guys are they're punching a lot or whenever you guys are in a scrum together fighting just don't spam maximum two dodges back to back do not do three or more because that's just going to ruin you like badly so just punching timing 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 and then oh at one point i'm gonna dodge all right go back at it again timing 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 oh dodge again Oh, dodge again. Like you guys can see, my stamina is always much higher when I do these types of dodges instead of doing, you know, oh, dodge, 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 dodge. Like it's not gonna go well for you. Getting in a habit of doing this is much harder than it feels because I remember a lot. I, I fought a old diamond uh, from last season who was a 2300. And because of this new update, I was able to wipe him because I knew how to fight in this update. The next tip I'm gonna give you guys now is involving your power punch. So your power punch, there is a one very easy way that I will show you guys how to land your power punch. There is a move called the step back, right? Anytime your opponent does a step back is the best time to throw your power punch. I have a clip showing it to you guys now. Here, play the clip. I was sparring one of my friends and this shows perfectly how this this technique works so every time he steps back I wait until his block is below seven because when you power punch the block it'll always break whenever you do, you punch to um and whenever you power punch below seven whenever their block is above below seven I watch for the step back because most likely whenever they do a block a step back they're gonna block again right whenever they block I let go of my block completely and I throw my power punch here's why I do this if you guys scroll back to the clip you guys can see that whenever my power punch throws, 
I'm actually walking towards him with full speed. While him, he's slow because he's slow, he's backing up with block. And you guys know how the speed difference is from block to no block, right? So all I want you guys to do is study that clip and learn how to throw your power punches that way. Because that power punch will help you land 95% of your power punches in every fight that you play. Of course, don't forget to throw your power punches at other times in the fight. But of course, that is what I always look for for my power punches. If they have low stam, low block, just send it like it's, you know, no tomorrow. But if you see that they do a step back and they have low block, I suggest you just walk towards him and then you throw that power punch. The best tip I can give for this is to play by their side. Because once they step back, you'll be a little bit closer to them to actually throw your power punch. The only thing I have to tell you guys is do not block when you're throwing that power, when you throw that power punch. Because when you block, when you throw the power punch, your range gets reduced drastically because of uh, walking. Now, the final tip I'm going to give you guys for um, for the block is dropping your block. I have said this many times. If you guys want, I have my block management video to tell you guys all about it. Go ahead and watch that if you want a full explanation. But I'm going to be explaining it to you guys in the best detail that I can in this video. So you guys see my block, right? very 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 purple bar a lot of people are wondering how do i keep it up all the time i have done research and now i know everything about blocking so it takes 3.8 seconds before your block starts regenerating again after you block a punch your block will go down and it will take 3.8 seconds before it starts regenerating again two things i have to state here one your block comes back faster now whenever you're not blocking. Every time that someone punches your block, the timer refreshes for you to actually start attacking again. So let me explain to you what I mean. So you guys see what I, in my videos, when I say my block, that's what I mean. Whenever they block and I just punch their block, their block's not coming back for another 3.8 seconds because I'm just attacking his block, resetting the timer. This is why dropping your block is incredibly important. So what I would do, is I would fight my friends or I would fight my opponent and what I would do is around 15 block I would drop and then fight without it if I have enough distance between my opponent I will start blocking again even when it's not completely charged because here's what I don't want you guys doing I don't want you guys just walking around like this looking like your chick a chicken with your head cut off you know what I mean I want you guys to be blocked I don't want you to, guys to just be running like this the only time I need you running is if you want to get out of range of your opponent making sure that you're always blocking is probably the most important thing in boxing beta because this is what regenerates your health your stamina everything the only thing you have to be careful with is your block because if your blocks low you kind of need it to come back so the best way is like I said you drop your block you fight without it for a little bit get out of range and then you have a lot more room to use your block final tip for this do you guys see these rings over here right you guys see how it's a square if you want your block to come back do not be in a in a corner do not sit in a corner. Controlling the center of the ring is the most important thing in boxing beta. Because if your opponent is stuck in the corner here and you are right here, he needs to use two to three dodges to go to that corner. Let me show you guys. He'd have to do this, punch you, step back, and then get back into blocking. You, all you have to do is boom, boom, boom. You just follow him. Being con Taking control of the middle of the ring will win you so much more stamina, it's insane. Instead of, you know, wasting 14 stamina to walk around, you're using, you're, you're, you're just not even using stamina. You're just punching, punching, punching. So this is what I mean for block. So let's say your block is low and you want to regain it and you're stuck in a corner. What I want you guys to do is use your dodges, but fight for the middle of the ring. Because if you, like I said, if you do not fight for that middle of that ring and you just sit on the outsides like this with no block, your opponent has such an easy way to just follow you that you're going to get your punch blocked or your health is going to be destroyed by the time you're done dodging. So what I would suggest you to do, if you have no target focus, is to try and dodge around your opponent. Try and make it to the middle of the ring. These are the main tips, guys. The, to recap on everything, guys, uh, train every day if you guys can. If you guys can't, get yourself into a routine to play the game. Uh, warm up before any big fight, so ranked or uh, professional fight. Throw, learn to throw your power punches whenever your opponent step back. If you guys need another reference, go to the clip I showed um, in earlier in the video. Focus on dodging at the right times, not often. Quanti uh, quality over quantity. So dodging not so often versus dodging spamming will just ruin your stamina so much faster than you even think of. For blocking, make sure that you always drop your block to try and fight it out. 
And for another tip for just in general, control the center of the ring. You will reduce your stamina usage uh, by a lot, and that is very good. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, guys, my fight is announced. It is in February. Uh, if you guys would like to see the trailer, I put a community post on my channel. Uh, go watch that. And uh, yeah, I will, I will warn you guys, though. This is not any regular boxing fight. This fight is with different rules. Let me explain. So you guys see there's a moderation pad here. Health stats, block health, etc. He has tweaked with everything in this menu to make sure that this fight is quote-unquote realistic. But yeah, like I said guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, join the Discord server down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Side if you're ever gonna